where I live now doesn't have a Taco Bell. It's a nightmare. I'm devastated. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Yes, hello and welcome to this installment of Breakfast Burrito Banger with your boy. Today we have some home cooked breakfast burritos. They are perfectly toasted. I kept them very simple. I just wanted eggs, cheese, bacon. A lot of times when I go to make things like this, I get a little crazy. I start to go over the top. I start adding in different vegetables, peppers, things like that. In this instance, I was just like, I got to reel myself in and keep it nice and simple and have my three dips is where I get a little crazy, okay? You guys know I'm a saucy guy, okay? I get a little crazy when it comes to the sauce, okay? Now, before we get into this video, if you like to keep your beverages sub-zero, like Canada, igloo-style temperatures, the best way you're going to want to go do that is by clicking the link down below using code HOODIE to get 10% off your purchase of the coldest water bottle. And also down below, there's another link where you can enter in to get one for free in their giveaway that they do weekly also before we do anything more we must pour and today we have our 80s cubes those are the 80s cube 80s tray cubes okay we are going to reach back to our friend here mr coal dust and reveal a mystery and what is that mystery it's water again it's h2o it's very not that awesome. But like I said, y'all, as of late, diet soda, diet pop is a real addiction that I am currently trying to nip in the bud. It's got a heroin hold on me, but I'm doing good. I'm like, a, I'd say I'm a full week off it right now. So, you know, eventually I'll kind of come back to some nice fizzy beverages. We will make some faces again, but uh, for now I just needed to kind of bring it back. You know what I mean? So. I gotta get myself a thumbnail and I will spare you those details. So as you'll see here, a nice fluffy egg. I love a good fluffy egg. I definitely add cream and milk to mine. Good crispy bacon. I added three or four strips to each roll basically. Roll, burrito, whatever you wanna call it. And then some cheese. Uh, the cheese is a little bit lost in there but I promise you there is cheese in there. It's also got the most perfect toast. Just that light golden brown, nothing too crazy. We do sour cream it and we do salsa it as well and once we have salsa and sour creamed our beautiful burrito we get that first perfect dreamy bite can I say that's amazing I have some ketchup here as well yes I am white I do ketchup all of my breakfast foods I'm telling y'all that is something special so like I said I don't know about you and your eggs, but I always fluff mine out. With milk and cream. It's just how I love them. It's just how I love them. And this is why. Look at that thickness on them. Oh, you know, perfect. That fills up the burrito. Just has that nice, thick fluff to it. Ooh, and the cheese oozing and goozing on that side. So I just want to take this moment here to give a mass shout out to anybody who's ever been generous to me in terms of PayPal donations and merch and things like that. Um, I just want to give a widespread like shout out to those people because, you know, when you see that niceness, in uh, <clears throat> random strangers, random people, humans. It, you know, it restores that faith in humanity. Um, now, I, I was on somebody's live last night, another fellow uh, YouTuber that I like. I'm not gonna drop names or anything because I just don't wanna disclose all that and that's not what this is for, but 
I'll just have you know that because of your guys and you know who you are, your, um, you know, charitable contributions and your willingness to, to give, uh, to a random stranger, I paid it forward last night as well, because this person was having, uh, similar health complications that they mentioned in their stream. So I went ahead and just paid it forward. And I gotta tell you, it feels as good to give as to receive, you know what I mean? So just shout out to you guys who have done that for me. I personally message in the email every single person who's ever donated to me. I always give back a personalized email saying thank you. But uh, it's good just to do a mass reminder. A thank you reminder. I'm very fortunate. I'm very lucky in life. I'm very, I am very privileged. And I have it better than a lot of people. So I recognize that. And I need to be thankful for for everything that I do have. It also doesn't hurt that you might have saw on my Instagram, Hoodie Noir, H-O-O-D-Y-N-O-I-R, on Instagram. If you want to go follow, please do. Uh, you might have saw yesterday that I posted... Uh, a photo of me in H and R Block uh, with the <laughs> with the caption "Life in the tax like Life in the tax lane." <laughs> I don't know why that song popped into my head when I uh, when I was there, but it did. To do my tax return, uh, and I really thought the hashtag "Return to Spender" <laughs> was very clever. So pat myself on the back for that one. Uh, I got an I got a nice I got a nice tax return yesterday. So it was like a bunch more than I ever expected to get. So when I was watching that live of this person in need in a situation that I've been in before, exactly the same situation. I was like, you know what? I had a great day today. I got back a bunch more money than I ever expected I was going to get. People have been so generous to me. I must return the favor. Shout out tax returns. Gotta love them. Now, relative to that, in terms of giving back, I will still be giving away some knives out of the knives that I won. It'll all make sense <laughs> very soon here, why it's kind of taken me so long and everything. I just ask that you please remain patient with me. Uh, I'm not just saying that I was going to do that and then not going to do it. I am going to do it. Uh, in honor of the 50K, but, you know, that was a while ago, but... My uh, situation in life has just been kind of precarious lately. I'm 
mainly I just haven't been able to be in a situation where I can test them all out and like actually use them and just see which ones I can like legitimately give away without missing them. But that's all changing very, very soon here. Things are about to get different in a good way. I'll say this, the one thing that these burritos are missing is McDonald's salsa. No questions asked, my burrito itself, my eggs, the bacon, everything, tortilla. Definitely better than a McDonald's breakfast burrito. I mean, look at that. There's really no comparison. But I tell you this, just like their sweet and sour sauce and even Big Mac sauce, McDonald's salsa is... What am I doing here? Is on a different level of delicious. I would love to know their salsa recipe. And I would have to assume that it tasting that especially good has everything to do with some sort of chemicals that I can't get my hands on. Because I'm not a megacorp that specializes in manufacturing food that gets you chemically addicted to it. Because real talk, that's exactly what fast food is. <laughs> and hey, I'm a victim. Don't get me wrong. I'm out here loving on a Big Mac. So good. I'm trying to eat all the Whoppers. You know what I mean? Where I live now, doesn't have a Taco Bell. It's a nightmare. I'm devastated. What I would do for some Popeyes <clears throat> coleslaw right now. Yeah, coleslaw. Just the coleslaw. You would think the chicken. Mm -mm. They got that chemically addictive coleslaw. It's just their dressing, man. Whatever their dressing is, it's so perfect. Hmm. I'm very full. I almost didn't get that last one in, but we have arrived. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. 
Till the next one, be kind to thy neighbor and eat good, live well. Stay true. Thank you.